In this video, I'm talking about the future of wireless Bluetooth connectivity in hearing aids. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. The introduction of Bluetooth inside of hearing aids in 2014 was one of the biggest technological advancements in hearing aids since the development of digital signal processing. This Bluetooth connectivity allows hearing aid users to wirelessly transmit audio from another Bluetooth device like a smartphone, a tablet, or a laptop directly into their hearing aids. This means you can listen to music, podcasts, audiobooks, phone calls, videos, without having to use a separate wireless headset or an intermediary device like a neck loop. This wireless Bluetooth technology was first made available exclusively for iPhone users, but as technologies have developed in the hearing aid industry, Android users can now enjoy Bluetooth connectivity with their hearing devices as well. The form of Bluetooth that we currently use is called Bluetooth Classic, or by its technical name, Subband Codec, which is abbreviated SBC. However, currently this form of Bluetooth has its limitations, such as being able to only stream to one device at a time, having a really high power consumption, and only being able to compress an audio signal so much before the sound quality is affected. The exciting news is that we are on the brink of a new Bluetooth codec called LE Audio, otherwise known as the Low Complexity communications codec, or by its abbreviation, LC3. This new form of Bluetooth could completely revolutionize wireless hearing aid capabilities. Not only would it dramatically reduce the power consumption of Bluetooth, but it would actually increase the audio quality and allow individuals to stream to and from multiple devices. One thing that really bothers a lot of hearing aid users who like to use Bluetooth is that it dramatically reduces your battery life of your devices. If you have rechargeable hearing Aids, that battery life is only 20 to 30 hours anyway, and once you start using this Bluetooth streaming, it dramatically reduces that battery life. Not to mention, if you use disposable batteries, there's a good chance that you are cutting days off of your battery life per battery if you use a lot of Bluetooth. LE Audio will dramatically reduce the power consumption of your devices when using Bluetooth to a point where you probably won't even worry about your battery life anymore. The audio quality of this new Bluetooth codec will also be an improvement. When you look at this graph, you can see that the new LC3 Bluetooth provides better audio quality than the current SBC Bluetooth, as indicated by the blue bars that are higher on this graph. The exciting thing is that this higher quality sound still exists when the signal is compressed even more than classic Bluetooth. However, I believe that the most exciting thing of the LC3 Bluetooth is what is called broadcast audio. Broadcast audio has multiple components. The first component is being able to stream audio from a single device into multiple devices at the same time. So I want you to imagine going on a flight with your significant other or a friend, and you both want to watch a movie on your smartphone. If you both have hearing aids, you can stream the audio into both sets of your hearing aids from one device. If you have hearing aids and they don't have hearing aids, you'll still be able to connect your hearing aids up to the phone and they should be able to connect a different wireless headset up to the phone at the same time so you can both watch the video at the exact same time and get the audio at the same time as well. The second benefit of broadcast audio is this ability to hear better in a large public venue. So typically right now, if you're someone who struggles in these large venues, you basically cross your fingers and hope that they have a hearing loop installed and that you have telecoils inside of your devices. That way you can turn on your telecoil and get the audio signal directly from that facility into your hearing aids. This new LC3 Bluetooth should allow these large public venues to have a more efficient way of streaming high quality audio directly into your hearing aids even if you do not have a telecoil. Just imagine if a hearing loop and telecoil were no longer needed to stream audio from one of these public venues like a convention center, a movie theater, a church, or a Broadway show. This would likely dramatically improve the audio accessibility for individuals with hearing loss because as of right now, there are just not that many large public venues that have hearing loops installed for you to use your telecoil. 
I'm telling you, this new LE Audio Bluetooth is going to completely revolutionize the hearing aid industry and open up an entirely new world of wireless Bluetooth connectivity for hearing aid users. So buckle up, because I believe that the 20s are going to be the most exciting decade for hearing aid technology that we have ever seen, and it starts with Bluetooth. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. If you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com.